So Kanye West speaks out after Vultures 1 gets taken off streaming. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So since its release on February 10th, Vultures 1 has encountered a number of issues with the track Good Don't Die being removed from Spotify. The entire album was also temporarily removed from Apple Music on Thursday, February 15th after a complaint was raised by its distributor. Vultures 1 was initially distributed by FUGA, but the company then said in a statement to Billboard that a long-standing FUGA client delivered the album Vultures 1 through the platform's automated processes, violating our service agreement. The album was then pulled from streaming before a new distribution agreement was reached with Label Engine, who had also managed the release of the singles Vultures and Talking Once Again. After the drama, Wes posted a message on Instagram to his followers saying, with all the DSPs taking the album down, go to Yeezy.com to buy the album. Good Don't Die was removed from streaming services on Wednesday, February 14th, after the estate of Donna Summer accused Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign of sampling the late singer's 1977 disco hit, I Feel Love, without permission. Summer's estate said on Instagram shortly after Vultures 1 dropped, Kanye West asked permission to use Donna Summer's song, I Feel Love, but he was denied. He changed the words, had someone re-sing it or used AI, but it's I Feel Love, copyright infringement. It is not known whether Kanye used the sample without permission, employed artificial intelligence, or hired another artist to sing the part as he did with All Falls Down from the College Dropout. That song initially sampled Lauryn Hill's Mystery of Inequity, but Ye could not get clearance to use the track on the album. He instead hired Selena Johnson to re-sing the portion of the song he wanted to sample. Vultures 1 also fell into sample clearance issues over its use of Black Sabbath's Iron Man on Carnival. West was denied use of the sample by the band, with lead singer Ozzy Osbourne issuing a public statement saying he wanted no association with the rapper over his anti-Semitic comments. The Chicago native ultimately swapped out the original sample for a section of his My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy song, Hell of a Life, which was already cleared to sample Iron Man. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to HipHopDX.com.